Imagine going into a museum and running your hands over the sculptures and paintings. Yeah, that's not happening. When most of us think of pieces of art, it's as something that's meant to be looked at but never touched. A local gallery and some young artists want to change that perspective. This color is pretty nice. In and out. I am uh, working on a weaving scarf, a big one. Moment by moment. I, I just put the needle for the, each um, string. But what you gotta do is go under, under and over. 16-year-old Kailu's creation takes form, an intricate piece he's already proud of. The only thing that's pretty hard is tying the, the, the yarn to the, the string. Kailu is one of about two dozen students preparing to show their art to the public, while his work is soft and yielding. So. You, they say your body needs that natural connection with the earth, and clay is kind of that form for me. 18-year-old Jacob shows a different path. I also use the brick technique. That took me about five weeks just to get the base done. I did a, a, ray, a gray coat, if you can tell, to make it look aged. With some twigs and tea lights for the flames. You may have heard the saying, everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it. And for these young artists at the Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. A lot of colors don't register with my eyesight. Their sight may be compromised, but their artistic vision is clear. It's therapeutic to me. It actually helps when I'm not feeling at my 100% my self. It allows me to express myself. Hence why I made a creature that breathes fire, looks terrifying, and is amazing. And the joy. Life, you know, darkness, you know, something like that. And pain. Family. That's what draws me to it, you know. They pour into their art as laid bare for the world to see and feel. Like people with vis without vision, like if they want to touch it, they can feel all the stuff that's on there. It all has been ruminating in my head. Um, how can I do a show where people can, can touch all the art? It's an idea Natalie Earnhardt, co-founder of Almost Real Things, couldn't let go of. Now her gallery is hosting Touch the Art. The exhibit showcases work created by Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Students, along with professional artists. Everything that's hanging, everything that's displayed, you will be able to touch. And we'll have people encouraging you because I think that most people will actually be afraid to touch the art, so we'll go around and say, no, no, you can touch it. The power of touch. The ability to comfort, communicate enjoying the feelings of smooth and rough, soft and firm on your fingertips, allowing the public to become one with the art through physical contact. And then also on top of that, let's talk about accessibility and how do people with visual impairment experience art? How do they make art? On this big night, joy and anticipation fill the room along with dozens of hands eager to brush across the different textures and fabrics. It's an exhibit these fingers have been waiting for. One that leaves these budding young artists so proud, knowing their artwork is about more than just sight. It's about showing their soul. Wow. That experience was just so incredible for me and for the photographer who shot it, Higgy mm -hmm. Mustanen. Mm -hmm. And those kids, they are now professional paid artists because a lot of their pieces were on sale and people bought them because they just love them so much. And True all the art. pieces were so unique and interesting yeah. to exactly. me. Exactly. Great story. And their big show is tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. And you can find out more information on that on our website, kv.com.